Welcome back to PGHN Design. Today I would like to show you how to design this two-tone bracelet, the Rhino 6 tutorial. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start in with the circle on my top view and the diameter is going to set it up for 60 millimeter. Okay, so now we are going to design the element. I'm going to make the link quite big. So the first things I wanted to do is to design the link and it's roughly about this size and, and I wanted to mirror to the other side and this is how it's going to taper on the on the link. And I wanna go to and I wanna use the blend curve to blend here and here and to blend here and here. All right, and if you feel like this is, um, let's join it first. And if you feel like this is too pointed, you can always bring it back something like that. Let's try to keep it in the center. So I'm going to use the align centers and just type it zero here. So the second thing I wanted to do is actually I'm going to making a copy and rotate at the same time. And then so we'll get something like this. Then I also wanted to rotate 180 degree for the one we just making the copy. So then we have the shape like this. Let's go ahead to use a split command. This will be split by this one and this will be split by this one. Okay. All right. Before we making into the surface, uh, I actually want to rebuild all of this. So I'm going to rebuild them into the last point and we're gonna click OK here. So each of them has the uh, A point right now, and we are going to use the command for loft, and you're gonna loft one, two, three, and four. Make sure you pick within the order and close the loft, so you will get the shape over here. All right, so we wanna creating the hole that's using the cylinder and snapping into the center zero here and for roughly about this is the size I wanted to have and gonna move this one up and move it close to the side. All right, double make sure that is the size you wanted. You wanna mirror this one to the other side and we simply just having this one rotate it 90 degree. Okay, so now we have our link and also have our color and we wanted to do Boolean difference, this one out of this one and this one. Check on the render view and see if that fit for what you like. And if that does, we are going to give a fit edges. Let's try point two and see how it goes on this one. Seems working fine. So we are going to try the rest of them with the same radius over there. So double make sure this is still a closed solid poly surface. So now we have it done. We are going to move that first link to where that six o'clock of the bracelet. And we simply just going to use the array along curve. And we're gonna pick up this curve and kind of a guessing, maybe we wanna have 20 of them. And apparently 20 is definitely not enough. So we may want to go more and that's to do 30 of them. Okay, so we are getting close there. We may just need a few more. So I'm just going to try uh, 33. All right, so it looked like it's working fine over there. Uh, let's take a look on our perspective. One of the link, I would like to turn it into the lobster claps. And simply what you wanted to do is you want to draw an opening more like in this angle. And another one, you actually want to draw an arc going like this way. All right. And again, this is for the rendering purpose. If you want to learn how to build a lobster class, I have a course teach you 11 different way to build the different clasp and you are more than welcome to check it out. I will have the link over here for you to check them out. Okay, so now for this one that I'm going to turn into the red colors, it's easier for you to see. 
here it's just for the rendering so we don't need to make them actually working with all the spring inside but we want to make sure that it look workable in the rendering so i'm gonna use this one to trim off this surface okay and i also need to have that one just make a copy paste and one of it is going to join with this one and the other it's going to join with this little piece here and all i need to do is cap it this one and also we want to cap on the other one and the reason we are doing that is because we need to give a radius um fitted edges so we need to make sure they are solid so we're gonna give something really tiny small so let's try point 0 0.05 over here and the purpose is you will have a better rendering if you have a tiny radius there so i'm going to do the same thing over here so now if we look at, at the render view then it look like there's a separate a part over there and you can put the pin there if you want to to make it look more like a lobster class but again if you want to look more of in detail you are more than welcome to check out my course so that's today's tutorial for this type of link i hope you enjoy it and please let me know how you like this video thank you for watching and i'll see you next